I'm Jeff Troche and I'm a mental performance coach. The easiest way that I've found to describe what this is, is um, a way for athletes and anybody who uses the headset to get um, objective data related to what's going on in their brain. And effectively the headset measures electricity um, and the brain produces electricity and the electricity is correlated with certain um, behaviors. So um, when I'm in a situation that calls for being relaxed, I would like for my brain waves to be relaxed. Um, when they call for me to be engaged because something is demanded of me, I would like them to be optimally engaged and not over engaged, but not under engaged. Um, and in working with athletes for you know many, many years, um, when we ask them to feel less stressed or we ask them to focus more, um, they might say, I am focused or I, oh, I'm, I'm less stressed than I was, but we really haven't until now had a, had a way to measure whether they are, actually are that focused or they are decreasing the, their internal stress. So um, to be able to first see what's going on in there and then um, through um, the, the, the assessment, which is an eyes closed condition for five seconds, which then is measuring brain activity with pretty much nothing going on from a stimuli perspective, then eyes open for a few minutes, so now we get the visual input, and so theoretically the brain engages a little bit more. And then going through a, a task which is a little bit stressful um, and a little bit boring, so it kind of uh, incorporates some of the things that can occur in, in sport, and we're measuring things like focus and focus endurance and um, impulse control, all of which has its obvious impact and effect in sport. At the end of the assessment, what it does is it gives us strengths and limitations around brain function and brain performance largely in a focus or stress realm, um, after which there is a training opportunity. And the training, um, which most people find fascinating, is um, playing video games with your brain waves, not with your hands, which sounds really cool and it is really cool. Um, basically, I have a tendency to um, do what most athletes call and what I call overthinking. So I go into situations with my brain overly engaged sometimes, and it's really hard for me to shut my brain down. So with the headset on and in training mode, I actually get reinforced from the game itself. And if my brain is doing what I want it to do, um, I get success at the game. So the real example for me is I'm trying to generate more kind of calming brain waves in a certain part of my brain, which is associated with being able to kind of shut my brain down. When I do that well, say with a game where the car's going around the track, um, if I'm doing that well, the car goes very fast around the track and I get more points and I'm more successful at the game. And if my brain goes to what is now my default, which is overthinking and too much high level brainwave activity, the car slows down or stops. So basically the video game is a mirror for what's going on in my brain real time. So rather than wondering if what I'm doing is working from a brain perspective, I'm actually getting immediate feedback on, oh yeah, that works, or yes it is now, or no it's not. Over time, I get enough repetitions of that, I'm practicing it. It's, it's a bit like being in the gym with the strength and conditioning for the body. This is strength and conditioning for the brain physiology. And basically, I get enough reps of how to do this well, and my brain figures out how to do it. I strengthen my ability to do it, and the game actually levels up. So like in the gym where I'll put more weight on the bar uh, from session to session as I get stronger, the game constantly is challenging my brain physiology and, and in that way I strengthen it, I have more control over it, and I have an internal strategy that I can then take to the playing field or my business or whatever I'm doing to, to peak perform.